In a heartfelt segment from Lesser Afim's latest documentary, Sakura openly expressed her struggles and doubts about her path as an idol. This confession was spotlighted in a Sports Chosen article, which quickly caught the attention of netizens. Sakura shared tearfully that she sometimes questions her decision to become an idol, citing lost confidence and overwhelming criticism as her main challenges. Despite her honesty and vulnerability, the response from netizens has been mixed. The discussion has spread rapidly online, with over 680 comments in just an hour after the post went live. The tone of the comments suggests that some viewers are skeptical of Sakura's grievances, perceiving them as an attempt by both the idol and hive to garner sympathy amidst the glamorous life of a K-pop star. What's your take on this? Does it come off as ungrateful given their success? The online community was recently stirred by a post that sparked unnecessary conflict between Blackpink Lisa and New Jeans fans. Titled, Why Are New Jeans Fans Saying F*** You To Lisa?, the post quickly racked up nearly 20,000 views. In the post, someone shared a photo of what appeared to be a New Jeans fan's negative response to something related to Lisa. However, the situation quickly took another turn as netizens criticized the original poster. Many accused the author of stirring up drama by bringing up old issues that were already resolved. Others suggested that the post was an attempt by someone, possibly a Hive employee, to create unnecessary tension and smear new jeans by association. John Somi is making waves with the announcement of her new summer single, Ice Cream, set to drop on August 2nd. The anticipation is high among her fans, who are excited about the Barbie-esque vibes of the concept. However, not everyone is thrilled. Some have noted striking similarities to the 2020 hit Ice Cream by Blackpink and Selena Gomez, which also shared the same title and a similar aesthetic. There's a bit of tension as some fans point fingers at the Black Label, Somi's managing label, which is associated with YG Entertainment, the same umbrella under which Blackpink operates. Critics argue that the label's creative decisions might be a bit repetitive, especially since Somi works with some of the same producers who worked on Blackpink's tracks, like Teddy. This has led to discussions about the need for more creativity in the music production at the label. Recently, a post highlighting Winter's personal style choice became a hot topic in online communities, leading to mixed reactions. The post featured various photos of Winter dressed in what could be described as comfy and casual outfits, including oversized jackets, baggy pants, and a simple baseball cap. Unlike the polished looks typically expected from K-pop idols, Winter's relaxed attire has sparked a light-hearted discussion among fans and netizens alike. Many have drawn comparisons to IU, another beloved idol known for her unique fashion sense when off-duty. Comments ranged from amused observations about her eclectic style to playful concerns about her fashion choices evolving. One user noted, even fans tease Winter saying her taste is weird. We can't start hating on someone's personal style, highlighting a mix of humor and support within the fandom. Chiquita recently shared a photo with her brother, Copper, that caught everyone's attention, not just for the sibling love, but for a striking resemblance that has fans doing a double take. Copper, who performs under the Thai group bus, earned his spot as one of the top idols through the survival show, 789 Survival. Since their debut with the hit, Because of You I Shine, in December 2023, Copper has been recognized for his commanding stage presence and vocal prowess. The recent photo shared by Chiquita not only highlighted the family's gifted genes, but also sparked a flurry of comments about Copper's uncanny resemblance to Enhypen's J. The president of the Korean Red Cross, Kim Chol Su, expressed his gratitude towards G Idol, stating that their contribution will greatly support those affected by the floods. He assured that the Korean Red Cross is dedicated to continuing its relief efforts, with over 2,600 staff and volunteers working tirelessly since July 8 to assist in the affected areas. But this 50 million won was donated from personal money of each member. Each member contributed 10 million won, showing their commitment to supporting communities devastated by the heaviest rains the country has seen in 200 years. Just when everyone thought the dust had settled after the court's decision to not dismiss Min Hee Jin, Dispatch dropped new bombshell reports that reignited the whole controversy. 
Dispatch accused Min Hee Jin of poaching trainees from Source Music to form new jeans under her new label, Adore. The reports also touched on allegations that Min Hee Jin used a shaman's advice in forming the group, which has stirred a huge debate among fans and the public. The members of New Jeans, who had been undergoing back-to-back -back promotions, are now taking a break. Adore announced that this break is for the girls to rest and prepare for a new comeback with a fresh image. However, this decision to pause activities amidst such controversies has led to speculation about the future of New Jeans under Hive. In the past months, despite releasing new music and having a successful fan meeting in Tokyo, New Jeans hasn't been seen at major Hive events, which has fueled rumors that they are being sidelined due to the ongoing conflict with Min Hee Jin. Back in 2009, the K-pop scene was shaken up by the debut of FX, New jeans today are often said to replicate the image of FX because of FX music, and style was so unique from the K-pop scene back then, just like how New Jeans has been compared to other Gen 5 idols now. Crystal, who debuted at just 14, captured attention right from the start. Known for her elegant and sophisticated style, she was often referred to as the K-pop muse, and was a favorite model for creative director Min Hee Jin. But Crystal wasn't just a pretty face, she was incredibly talented too. As Jessica from Girls' Generation's younger sister, she had a lot to live up to, and she did not disappoint. Her sweet voice, perfect dance moves, and strong stage presence made her a standout performer. However, despite all her talent and star quality, Crystal's potential was never fully realized under SM Entertainment. After Soli left the group in 2014 amid various controversies, FX continued as a four-member group and released the album Four Walls. But that was pretty much it. The group then went on a long hiatus, and by 2019, when their contracts expired, they had gone their separate ways. Crystal, in particular, stepped back from music. After four walls, she hasn't performed on stage, choosing instead to focus on her acting career. Now, years later, fans still miss Idol Crystal and regularly bring her up when discussing K-pop legends. There's a glimmer of hope, though. Earlier this year, Crystal signed with Bana Entertainment and even teased a possible return to music by releasing a cover of I'm Coming Back. Her new agency, Baba, has connections with some industry heavyweights who previously worked at SM, and they manage some of the main producers for New Jeans. Ryu Hanbi, who started her journey in the spotlight as a child actress at just 10 years old, has grown into a promising young actress in the Korean film industry. Now at 20, she's recognized not just for her acting skills but also for her stunning, idol-like looks, which had once made fans speculate she would debut with the popular K-pop group New Jeans. Despite the buzz and a close connection between her mother and Min Hee Jin, Ryu Hanbi eventually stepped away from the project, leading to Hae-in taking her place. Even though she's more private now, especially about her personal life, Ryu Hanbi occasionally shares glimpses of herself on Instagram. Her posts reveal that she hasn't just maintained but enhanced her looks. Despite choosing a different path from the idol world, Ryu Hanbi continues to captivate fans with her evolving beauty and compelling performances. The conversation has sparked speculation about whether SM Entertainment pushes for a uniform appearance among their female idols, often referred to as the SM look. A top comment noted Wendy's striking resemblance to Girls' Generation's Taeyeon, a comparison that highlights the perceived uniformity. While some forum users reminisced about Wendy's earlier looks, others praised her current aesthetics, arguing she looks prettier than ever. The discussions also ventured into sensitive territory, with some questioning the extent of cosmetic procedures, particularly in light of Wendy's past facial injuries sustained from an accident. One prominent netizen comment raised concerns about the industry's pressure and its impact on Wendy, mentioning, if no one said it was Wendy, you wouldn't recognize her. Fans defend her by saying she had to fix her face due to an injury, but her face keeps changing. Do you think she got lip fillers because of an injury? The upcoming wedding of Hani and Yang Jae Wong has sparked a wave of controversy on social media following a distressing incident reported by SBS. The report detailed the tragic death of a patient at a mental hospital in Buchan, which led many to speculate about Yang Jae Wong's involvement due to his known association with the medical field as a psychiatrist frequently appearing on TV. Despite the personal nature of their relationship, the intense public scrutiny has put their private lives under a microscope, particularly focusing on Yang Jae Wong's professional conduct and the operations of the mental hospital connected to the reported incident. As the couple navigates these challenging waters ahead of their planned September wedding, the situation highlights the intense pressure public figures often face and the rapid spread of speculation on social media.